before I get into the ceremony, I have to say that this is a first for me, not the first ceremony, but the first that really brings new meaning to storybook wedding. <laughs> it's very creative. I have a few things that I'd like to say to you guys in front of all these witnesses, and it's important that they're here because a lot of them are family and they're gonna hold you to this. And as I'm sharing these things with you, I want you to know that they didn't come by happenstance, but these are from the Lord for you to plan into your heart and to remember as you listen to the recordings and watch the video of this time and time again throughout your lives, because this is going to be important for you. So there's three things I want to discuss with you. First and foremost, I want you to remember something that was said to you yesterday at the blessing, and that, that was that you need to speak life. And if you speak life to one another, you'll have abundant life. Proverbs 10:11 says, the mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, and the Lord will draw from both of you and the richness of the Spirit of God in you to encourage one another and to build up one another. But obviously the converse of that is when you're not allowing the Lord to draw from that well, and then other things come out, and we want to be very careful about that. Proverbs 15.4 says, A soothing tongue is a tree of life, but perversion in it crushes the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now that word soothing actually means healing or curing. Mm -hmm. And when the Lord named himself the God that heals, he named himself Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. And that word used in that very scripture for what comes off the tip of your tongue is that same word. So healing and curing can come from your words versus trouble. Word perversion means distortion or viciousness or wrenching. And that's when you use your words to distort one another's heart. And that's not something that's acceptable before the Lord. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat its fruit. And if you guys want to enjoy the fruit of this, <laughs> the fruit of this wedding or this marriage, then watch what comes out of your mouth. The second thing I'd like to tell you is that because you recognize that the Lord has brought you together, which is what you said yesterday as well, you didn't know I was going to use all those against you, did you? Or for you, I should say, right? For us. For you. You said them. You, thought, you said that the Lord brought you together. And because he has, the key is don't, don't forget who brought you together and make sure that in relationship that you're continuing to grow in him.